Professor Milgram, your views. Okay, well, thank you. Um, it was very interesting listening to the two of you, and um, I think you, you must have been reading the outline of our industrial economics classes at Stanford. You basically outlined all the, uh, all the issues involved in competition policy, so you saved me from doing that. Um, it, well, with maybe one exception, so the, I think one of the things we, we would have said to our students in, in outlining uh, uh, and, and outlining the issues is where, where scale economies are big, this industry is just loaded with big scale economies, you, you do want uh, firms to be able to compete for dominance in the market. Uh, we expect um, the big dominant firms to take advantage of scale economies. And, and so you want, to, you want to allow and encourage that competition without blocking innovation by, uh, that comes subsequently. So you don't want... You don't want dominance to be extended. And when we do the title here, competition dynamics, dominance, disruption, and fair play, uh, part of, you, you, you do want to allow uh, a uh, young Google, when it was the young Google, to, uh, to uh, dramatically improve its search services and become dominant in its industry. What you don't want it to do is to then extend its dominance to um, uh, other uh, other sectors, uh, complaints about it uh, taking over travel services or mapping services or whatever that uh, that can add um, add to its platform, and figuring out where the boundary lies, what is uh, a natural part of of what it's doing, and uh, what amounts to extending its dominance and blocking innovation. Uh, that's a hard a hard question that uh, that regulators uh, have to deal with. Um, you know, in, in Thinking about the question that Fabio posed to me uh, uh, about what sectors or what uh, where where I saw the uh, problems lying, I was I, I sit in Silicon Valley and uh, Stanford University is right in the heart of Silicon Valley and and I'm I've actually been uh, uh, most concerned thinking about uh, a, a dominance issue that you don't see yet, but I think you might see soon. Um, I don't know how many of you have been following what's been going on in artificial intelligence and machine learning, um, but I see some very, very large developments happening there. It's only about eight years old that the, uh, the, the huge breakthroughs where uh, machine learning in uh, image recognition, speech, speech recognition, and so on has exploded because of these uh, deep learning, deep, deep neural networks. Uh, the, first big breakthroughs in that were just 2009. So they we're talking about uh, a very young industry uh, or a very young technology. And it has amazing uh, scope when you think about the uh, possibilities. I've already seen, uh, well, there, there are, we're, we're talking about radiologists uh, being replaced in their jobs because uh, machines will be better at reading uh, x-rays and detecting cancer than, uh, than doctors will be. And we're seeing, uh, 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 John Deere, recently, the, the, uh, the farm equipment manufacturer, uh, uh, recently bought a startup uh, that will uh, help it produce uh, equipment that will do weeding in fields. It'll be able to recognize the difference between crop and weeds and pull the weeds only and leave the crops in place. Uh, we're, we're seeing just uh, an, an, amazing, uh, an amazing number of things that, that can be done using image recognition, voice recognition, and uh, and and uh, um, and other services, and uh, and and when I think about how that's going to play out, I've been thinking a little bit about uh, about cloud services. I think you know right now cloud services is mostly dominated by uh, Amazon and Microsoft, at least in the United States. I'm not sure what the situation is here, uh, and uh, and and Google is is entering and becoming a, a player in that area as well. I foresee a day not too distant in the future when, uh, when machine learning will be offered as a cloud service. You as a company will, uh, uh, who uh, will, are trying to improve some process or trying to improve your interaction with your customers will supply data to a package, to, to a machine learning package which will operate on the cloud and allow uh, premium pricing uh, through, uh, through, let's say, Google or Amazon or, or, or Microsoft. And, and that technology touches so much of what goes on in industry that uh, w when I think about uh, uh, what areas might be uh, interesting to you know interesting going forward, 
Uh, that's the one that strikes me as being a particularly big disruptive uh, technology that that touches and, and touches on and may expand into many different areas and is the uh, the one that I focused on in response to your question, Fabio. Thank you. 